What's up, guys? My name's Hammer from the Ramblin' Richards. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hey there, Ramblers. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons, and today's been crazy. As you can probably tell by my hair, today's been equally as crazy. Did a lot of running around with the kiddo today. <clears throat> Went and got food for some of the animals. And, uh, took the kiddo with us and we went for a walk this evening and uh, that's what this video is pretty much gonna be about is just getting out in the evening with our pups uh, we live in an area that's got a really nice little green belt some trails really lovely parks around here some creeks so let's go ahead and <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look at us going for a walk. Lots of bamboo. It's already sprouting back up. You're okay. So this is a patch of bamboo, which is invasive here in Texas. And we literally had maybe two or three days of rain they just cut this down last week and it's already starting to sprout back up. I mean, there are parts, there are parts over here that are at least a good 10, 12 inches tall already. And the city has to come out and knock this down every month or two because it grows so fast and it spreads so quickly and snakes love to be in it's okay they love to be in this bamboo now it is really pretty in landscaping and i love using it in the reptile room but it's super invasive you ain't buddy yeah is that right there that's got to be at least 12 to 18 inches tall and there's bodie for comparison it's super invasive there's a patch back there all along over there too so you're maybe asking why do you care about bamboo like why does it matter well that's the start of our natural space our our green belt here where we live and all across the state of Texas in areas that are wild, that are being taken over and used for housing or corporations or whatever the case may be. Um, we're replacing the natural flora and fauna and the natural grasses that grow here in Texas with stuff like that. And you're probably going, okay, still don't understand what your point is. What, what does that matter? Well, here in Texas, we have flash floods and the native, native grasses here in Texas, the root system of those grasses actually help prevent flooding and I mean, with recent years, the flash floods have been getting worse. The drought this year has been crazy. So flooding, once you know fall starts and we start getting more rain, it's going to be a big deal because people are gonna start getting flooded. And I'll show a little diagram of the native Texas grasses and native Texas plants root system, how deep they go they prevent erosion whenever we have those floods they hold the soil in place and so if you have places that you live in that have a green belt or a natural space that you can go and enjoy having invasive species 
take over places that natural grasses or natural plants would grow means that you're probably not going to have that place survive if there's a flash flood. And we got creeks all over the place. You'd probably see me walking. We're going over a bridge right now. There's two creeks in our area. The creeks in this area, they feed into, there's Barton Springs and San Marcos River, the Brazos River, all those places and their tributaries are all over South Texas here. So having native grasses is important. Replacing the native grasses with stuff like bamboo is actually a detriment once it comes time for the rains. We call it hurricane season. Everywhere else they call it monsoons. So that bamboo is actually really, really bad for the wildlife. And like I said earlier, the snakes love it. But the city's been doing a really good job coming out and cutting it. We're about to pass back by it. There it is right there. That little patch, little bamboo patch. And I love bamboo as a decorative stuff or to use in the reptile enclosures, like I said, but to have it get out of control and grow wild, not good. Right here. It's all dried up. Wish some more rain would come. Now taco turn. So you can tell a very different attitude. Taco and Bella. Nope. Up here. Come up here. Got a boy. Take a look at that gorgeous sunset behind us. Isn't that pretty? What a pretty sky. Are you such a good girl? Not like Taco wrapping himself around the pole. What a ding dong. Bella, you good girl? Yeah. Okay, well we're done with our walks. I didn't film a whole bunch of the dogs actually walking. It's kind of boring. But I did talk a little bit about uh, native grasses, native plants, native flora and fauna. A lot, a lot of channels will talk about invasive <clears throat> invasive species, invasive plants and animals. Um, and a lot of southern channels, um, like uh, Arms Family Homestead, the hat that I was wearing today, he's trapping hogs right now on his off-grid property. And they've been hog hunting and hog trapping on the land he grew up on. <clears throat> for years and go back to some of his earliest videos they're out hunting hogs and coyotes things that are going to be detrimental to the environment the hogs wild hogs in the south are feral they're they're not supposed to be here and they not they tear up land and are awful to the native species they'll eat just about anything not that I don't like our green spaces, just something to be mindful of. <clears throat> but it's always nice to get out and take the dogs for a walk, get a little bit of exercise. So we're going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But remember, life is going to be about the journey, not the destination. Have a great day, and we will see you on the next video.